there have been some recent comparisons between Barack Obama um, and Ronald Reagan, which is one of the reasons why it's fitting that we're actually going over him today. Uh, just today in the, uh, sorry, <clears throat> just last week in the New York Times, the parallels in the two presidents' ratings go beyond overall results. Both were extremely popular among members of their own party, but each set off alarm bells amongst the opposition. Some 87% of Republicans approved of Reagan, while 88% of Democrats approve of Barack Obama. But both presidents evoked less positive opinion from the opposition than had their predecessor. Only 41% of Democrats approved of Reagan, whereas 56% of Republicans had approved of Jimmy Carter in March of 1977. President Obama scores only a 27% rating among Republicans, significantly lower than George W. Bush's 36% approval among Democrats in March of 2001. Okay? What this is telling us off the bat is that Ronald Reagan was an extremely polarizing figure. Most people either loved him or they absolutely hated everything about him. Barack Obama, as much as he talks about change and unity, is actually a pretty polarizing figure. Uh, this is a recent report by the Pew Charitable Trust, okay? And they're doing recent poll information on how Obama looks going into this first 100 days. So you've got these two incredibly popular men who came in with an amazing mandate who have to decide what they're going to do with all that newfound political power. Now, it would be very easy to say that your popularity is based on all the great policies you come up with, but, you know, that's not really true, because people care about money. That's what's important. And if you look at it, Reagan's disapproval has an amazing correlation to the unemployment rate. When people are unemployed, they don't like their president. When people have jobs, they think their president's fantastic. If you take a look, January of 81, uh, Reagan you know, has inauguration on the 20th. Uh, unemployment was at about 7.5%. Okay? That's actually what it was around the time that Obama got inaugurated. It's 8.5 now. And as you can see, as unemployment went up, the number of people who said that they disapproved with how Reagan was doing his job increased a lot. Okay? Until by the end, when we actually hit unemployment that was 10.8%, Roughly 50% of the public said they did not like what Reagan was doing. So what's this going to tell us off the bat about Barack Obama's popularity, either for this first 100 days or even in the future? What does this tell us? Same situation. Yeah, it's a pretty similar situation. If Barack Obama does a decent job with the economy, or at least convinces people he's doing a good job with the economy, then he'll do fine. If unemployment continues to go up, no matter how much people may like Barack Obama personally, this is very similar to the Jimmy Carter comparison. They may like him personally, but if they're still not working, if people still can't keep their homes, if people can't afford gas, if people can't go to Applebee's, then he's going to suffer consequences politically. Okay?